What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Fitzmonk TV here, aka Glord33, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. Today, we're talking some Dragon Ball Z Universe. This is my third video, I believe, of the day. I'm probably gonna have a fourth one up later. I've told you guys I'm back. I'm giving you guys that content with all this free time on my hands. So make sure to slap that subscribe button so you guys and enable notifications by ringing the bell next to my name, so you guys will ever. You guys will never miss a Fitzmoy TV video. But today, we've already, if you look in my subscription box, I've already put some NBA videos. But this is going to be a short, not too short, but a little bit of a short Dragon Ball Z Universe video. As you guys know, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 is releasing its fourth DLC pack. A lot of people have been talking if this will be Z Universe's last DLC pack because after this, they would probably have to go into the universe survivor arc, and there's like that, like tens, the hundreds of characters they can add. They can add all them gods, of the, all them gods of destructions, all the new warriors from all the uni all the new universes. But the tournament hasn't even started yet. We're still a couple weeks away. Right now, depending on watching your video or about on Dragon Ball Super Episode ninety three, where Goku's going to go recruit Frieza from Hell. To participate as the final team member for Universe 7. And there's a lot going back and forth about what's going to be happening in these episodes. The tournament, in my opinion, won't start around till about Dragon Ball Super Episode 96. We're getting awfully close to Episode 100, which I believe something big will happen at Episode 100. What it will be, I don't know. But it's all going to depend. It's going to be interesting because they said it's going to be a 48-minute match. That's the time limit, for it, which is a it's a long fight for anime. A 48-minute match. I don't know, but it's going to be interesting because they spent like what, 10 to 15 episodes just re recruiting all these warriors for the tournament. My thing is, of course, you're going to have 10 warriors from each universe, but... How many episodes is this tournament, like, the actual battles in the tournament going to be? Because that's going to be a lot of animation they're going to have to do for all the warriors in the tournament. I'm still very intrigued of how they're going to do it. I'm excited, yeah, but I'm still high self question about it. So, back on the Xenoverse 2 DLC thing. Xenoverse promised a year of support for Xenoverse 2. So that means a year of DLC, free updates stuff like that it's June right now it's universe 2 if I'm not mistaken came out early November so we are in the seventh no no sixth month of the year November is the 11th month of the year if this is the last DLC pack that's still five that's five months of support that we're not getting for Xenoverse 2 so Will Bandai make a DLC pack 5? Like I said just a couple minutes ago, I'm not against it. Of course, DLC. I love DLC. I'm so excited for that DLC pack 4. Which I will have all gameplay, parallel quest on this channel streaming. Well, not streaming. Well, we'll see if I stream it on my Twitch. Or, I w but I will have those videos recorded and uploaded so you guys can get that gameplay. To subscribe for that, that's another reason why I had to subscribe to Fitzmonk. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. With Universe 2, I'm not against DLC Pack 5, but I wouldn't really focus on DLC Pack 5 until we get through the tournament power because what we, we will get to see all the moves of all these characters. We'll get to see all their moves. Their super attack, we don't want to be making up attacks for people that we never seen fight. That's why sometimes I get I go against with like Vados and Champa, but like it's very rare that we'll ever see Champa and Vados even fight anybody in Super. I don't I don't really count Beerus and Champa fighting. That was just fist fighting. We didn't get to see any like cool moves really between them. Except for Champa like screaming. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on the DLC pack five situation. You guys came in for the DLC Pack 4 situation. We still don't have a release date. Who knows? Maybe they're releasing a release date as I speak. But there was a DLC Pack 4 skin release earlier this morning. In this skin, 
two big things were revealed. I made a video last week that some people criticized me saying that I was wrong. Super Saiyan Rage Trunks, or Super Saiyan Aki, is Aki means rage in Japanese. Aki, Super Saiyan Rage Trunks, or Dragon Ball Super, Super Saiyan Rage Trunks, is confirmed for this pack. I, if you guys don't believe me, go search it up. Because in the scan, there was a picture of Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. It said it fighting Merge the Masu. Also, one thing that another cool thing that we'll be getting in this skin or in this DLC pack is the ability to get your own Super Saiyan 4 costume. So you can become a Super Saiyan 4, or you and your created characters can become Super Saiyan 4. It has the whole outfit, it has the wit or, or the hair, the tail. That's gonna be really cool. You're probably gonna have to get that in a parallel quest or. You have to purchase it in like the TP metal shop. Either way, I'm definitely not going to be farming to get that. My favorite costume right now, I have two favorite costumes in the game. Well, I have three. I have the Whis G, Goku's Whis G, the one you see Goku fight in when he's fighting Golden Frieza, and the G that he wore when he's fighting Hit for the first time in the Universe 6, Universe 7 tournament. And also, I'm a huge fan of the Super 17 clothes. I love that outfit. My favorite outfit by far, if you guys didn't, can't guess it, I love the Goku Black arc. His clothes, his gi, oh, out of this world. And the Merge and Monster clothes are bad either. So basically, the two things you're going to get out of this, from the skin that we know we're getting, Super Saiyan Ray Trunks is confirmed, which I reported on about a week ago, so now you guys can, you know, I'm not going to say apologize, but you guys should know that, yeah, I'm credible. I was right. I confirmed it. I gave you guys all the info. You know, it's your choice to believe me or not, but go search it up. The scan had confirmed it because this was going to happen, and we also got the Super Saiyan 4 Goku costume. So... Based on what we know right now, we still don't have the release date for DLC Pack 4, but we do know what mostly, for the most part, what's going to be in this DLC. We're getting Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, we're getting Merge Zamasu, we're getting Super Saiyan Rage Trunks The Awakening. I don't know if it's going to be available for your creative characters. Probably not because, hey, if you're going to add Super Saiyan Rage Trunks or Super Saiyan Rage Awakening for created characters then people are gonna be wondering hey why can't we get super saiyan um, why can't we get super saiyan blue why can't we get super saiyan god of the red hair why can't we get all these other stuff so like you know for the same for Xenoverse 3 just to say I expect the Saiyans to be it's gonna be kind of ridiculous for the Saiyans because I believe the Saiyans are gonna get super saiyan 1 2 and 3 they're gonna probably get super saiyan god super saiyan blue super saiyan rage it's going to be kind of ridiculous how many different, like, transformations Super Saiyans or Saiyans are going to be able to have in Xenoverse 2. But, I am a Saiyan myself in Xenoverse, so I'm kind of happy with that at the same time. But Xenoverse is going to have to find a way to balance all that out. Plus, who knows, by the time Xenoverse 3 comes out, which will probably not be for, like, a year and a half, two years from now, around 2019 or late 2018, something like that, we'll get info on Xenoverse 3. By then, if Super's still going, which it probably will be, who knows what new forms we'll have that people will be clamming for. Hey, people are already clamming for Super Saiyan Rose. Like, it's funny. It's kind of ridiculous, but I see what they're talking about. So to end the video up, for DLC Back 4, you're getting Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. You're getting Merge the Monster. You're getting Super Saiyan Rage The Awakening for the Dragon Ball Super Future Trunks character. We're getting the story mode saga of the Goku Black Arc. It's no in the case of how many missions it's going to be yet, but you are getting that. I'm hyped for that. We're also getting three new parallel quests to go along with that. We're probably going to get some new online events. Plus, you're getting the Super Save 4 character costume. But that's a lot just for a DLC. Plus, there's probably maybe a couple things that we still don't know about. Plus, remember, we have a free update for Xenoverse 2 that hasn't been announced yet. For DLC Pack 4. 
that's all I got for you guys today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe on this video for more. I'm Fizzmonk. Thank you guys for everything. Send your comments in the comment section down below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, GLorn33, Instagram, the real GLorn. That info is in the description box. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Peace.